everyone, so today I'm going to be filming a Poundland haul and I know you guys like these Poundland hauls so I thought I'd film another one. I only uploaded my previous Poundland haul I think two weeks ago, um, but I went to Poundland and they had quite a lot of good stuff in so I brought quite a bit. So yes, let's get to it. So the first thing I actually got from Poundland, um, this has got some of the stuff I brought from Poundland in it, um, but I've mostly separated everything else into sections so I've kind of got like nail polish, makeup, all in different sections so I don't have to mess around. Um, but I've got this. Um, it is just a Minnie Mouse shopping bag, and as you can see, it's just red polka dots with Minnie Mouse on it. I did have a bag with Mickey Mouse on it, but I just chose Minnie Mouse. Just a Minnie Mouse reusable bag. Um, I don't actually take these out shopping with me, but what they're good for is when I've got stuff to haul, I can kind of put them in a bag like this, so I have kind of different shops. So this bag has like Poundland stuff in, and then another bag I would brought from Poundland a little while ago would have stuff in to haul for a different video. But I am going to start off with makeup, and then I will move on to nail polish, and then I've got a few kind of hair products to show you, but I'm going to start off with makeup. So the first thing I picked up makeup wise was the Witch Naturally Clear Anti Blemish Tinted Moisturiser. Um, I picked this up, this is in 10 Light, this is the lightest one they had. There's the packaging of it, it's just silver with a greeny blue writing. I picked this up, I have the concealer that goes along with this, I have the Witch Naturally Clear Concealer and I use that all the time and I also have the Witch Face Wash um, and I have also tried their blemish stick um, and I I think they have a powder out that goes along with this and their concealer. I think, I think they have a face powder out which I will try and get. Um, but this isn't too dark whatsoever. This is a really, really good colour. Um, normally I would buy a foundation in Fair, um, if they do have Fair. But they only had light. Um, I think in my Poundland they only had light, they didn't have medium or dark. Um, I've already tried this. Um, it comes with a seal on it. Um, I've already taken it off because I've already tried it. It's not too dark, it's kind of like the perfect colour once it's blended. Um, it is a tinted moisturiser so it hasn't got a lot of coverage to it, but it's got a little bit of coverage to it. Um, which I really really like using this with the matching concealer I have and then just powdering my face if I'm just going out shopping or something and I'm not filming or going to work. That's what I would do. Um, it mattifies the skin. Um, yes, there's that. I think I might use this in a get ready with me soon. So look out for that. So the next thing I picked up was the Miss Sporty So Clear Perfect Skin Anti Blemish or Anti Blemish Actions Up to Nine Hours Healthy Looking Skin, um, and this is in zero one light. This still retails for three pound fifty, um, and as it was only a pound in Poundland, um, it says So Clear Perfect Skin Foundation which combines four anti blemish actions for clear, healthy looking skin for up to nine hours. Um, it's oil free formula for young skin and it just looks like this like I said it still retails for £3.50 um, this is in 01 light in my Poundland this is the only light one they had left the rest of them were in medium and dark but I luckily got this one they also had two other foundations by Miss Sporty in there I think they had a BB cream and maybe a colour match one but I've already tried this one as well this one is also really really nice this one is also really really nice um, this one does match as well you only need a little bit of this foundation because a little bit of this foundation does go a long way. Um, but it is for younger skin because it is a blemish foundation. Um, I've already tried it and it, does, and it did seem pretty good when I tried it. I wore it to work um, just with a powder on top and it did last for the whole nine hours. Um, however long I've work, seven, so... No, about nine hours this did last for until I took it off. Um, but yes, there's that. I might use this and get ready with me soon as well, so keep looking out for some get ready with me videos. So the next thing I got from Poundland um, came in one of these little packets. Everything normally comes in a little packet from Poundland uh, but I normally take them out of the packets before I film because I don't like the rattling sound of the plastic packaging. But I picked up this blusher by Maybelline and it's the Colour Show Blush Them. Um, I haven't seen these over here, I think they are from Japan or China, I'm not sure, I can't read what it says in the back. It has a sticker. Um, over the back for the ingredients in English, but it doesn't have a colour. It just looks like this. Just says colour show blush them. Um, 
Um, and when you open it, if I can open it, there's an issue of having long nails. And when you open it, you get the blusher and then a little brush. The next thing I picked up was a Barry M Cosmetics Dazzle Dust, um, which I will take out the packaging and show you. It did come with the kind of like plastic wrapping already around the actual product. Um, I picked one of these up in my previous Poundland haul, but it was kind of a silvery, greyish. <laughs> my hair's very frizzy today. I plaited it when my hair was wet, and it just it has kind of gone really frizzy, if you can tell. Um, I have tried to like straighten bits out and hairspray it so it's not too frizzy, but that's what happens to my hair. I think that's because I think that's because I kind of got like auburn hair that it does that. But yes, um, this is a really, really, really nice colour. Um, I'm going to be using this for the inner corner of my eye, maybe even for highlighter if it comes up okay for that. So it's really, really pretty. Um, it comes in this little glass jar. It used to be retail for about four pound fifty. Um, this is in shade 1, it doesn't have a name, it's just the number 1 um, and it's just this really really gorgeous, very light baby pink. It is absolutely gorgeous um, and you will be seeing these in close up shots anyways, which is kind of easier to do closer up shots after the video and not during the video. I then picked up two nail polishes and they are both the Real London Sweetie Crush. I will take them both out of the packaging. I don't know why I leave them in the packaging anymore because I never used to. Um, but I picked up these two. They did have a green, blue and a yellow one I believe. But they're not really the colours I would put on my nails. So I picked up this one. Which is just a purple. Um, it's the Sweet Rimmel and Sweetie Crush in 011 Violet Fizzle really really pretty and I then picked up this one which is the Rimmel London Sweetie Crush in 009 Candy Floss Cutie which is just a pink and it just says they are a sugar textured nails and I haven't tried these yet I'm looking forward to trying them but they are both really really gorgeous and I absolutely love them um, then I picked up two Maybelline nail polishes the first one is the Maybelline New York Color Show in 220 Knitted Gold. This looks absolutely gorgeous. I fell in love with this. It is a complete glitter nail polish and it's got gold and very light pink, maybe even a few green tones. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I got that one and I also picked up this one. I then picked up this one. This is the Maybelline New York Color Show Stripped Nude um, in 230 Undress to Impress. Um, and this is a chunky gold glitter. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's just a clear nail brush with big chunky gold glitter through it and it's absolutely gorgeous. I can imagine this is going to look very very nice on top of a black nail brush. Uh, but maybe even on the nail push I've got nail, maybe like my ring finger or something. Um, but they are both absolutely gorgeous. Um, I don't know if these are still like in Super Dragon Boots or whatever. They are both absolutely gorgeous colours and I definitely recommend going in Poundland and definitely having a look through the nail polishes because they are kind of like the best kind of things I've ever got for Poundland are the nail polishes I have. I have like over 90 nail polishes and more than half of them are from Poundland and I love them. I paint my nails literally every like three days, which probably isn't too healthy for them, but I've got long natural nails. Um, but yeah, there's them. Everything else I got from Poundland was hair stuff. The first thing is this Allura Tangle Attack. Tangles hair easily, suitable for all hair types, washed with warm soapy water with a handy travel case. Um, I just picked up the lilac one. I think they had a blue and a pink one. Um, I just picked up the lilac. Um, it's my favorite color. I do have one of these already, um, but I've lost the case to it, and I have a black one. I don't know where I got it from, it's the exact same thing, or it's the exact same make as well, apart from it was from a different shop, I don't think it was from Poundland. Um, but I have a black one that's downstairs in the shower, so when I wash my hair in the shower and I put conditioner in, I can brush the conditioner through, um, and I've lost the case to it. 
Um, so I just thought I would pick up another one while I was in there. This did come with plastic wrapping around it, but I took that off. Um, I'll just show you what it looks like. So here's the case, here's the brush. Um, just kind of looks like that. It's just the hairbrush, basically. Um, it detangles my hair really, really well when my hair's wet or when my hair's like this now, and it doesn't break my hair as much as a normal hairbrush does. Um, it, it's basically the cheaper version of the Tangle Teaser, um, which I think is about 12 or 13 pounds, and these are only a pound. I thought I would just pick this up to keep in my room, so I can have one in the shower, one in my room. I might pick up another Tangle Attack to go in my bag when I'm at work, and, um, but just that exactly was only a pound, and they are really, really good, and I'll definitely recommend giving them a try. The last things I picked up from Poundland were actually hair dyes, um, which are these ones here. Um, now if you watched my video which was called To My 18 Year Old Self um, Goals and Questions um, you would have seen that you probably would have heard me say in that video that your 16 year old self is scared to dye her hair um, and I am scared to dye her hair which is why I picked up these um, these are the Simply Bright Colour Wash Non Permanent Wash Out Hair Colour Last 2-10 to 10 Washes picked up two in purple haze and two in blue mist. Um, I guess I could just show you one of these, I don't need to show you all four. Um, it just says, Simply Bright non-permanent washout colours are a range of high fashion hair colours, intense colour pigments give rich colour lasting two to ten washes, recommended for use on bleached, light blonde or grey hair. Um, and it's not recommended for anyone under the age of 16 which I'm not on the age of 16, so. Um, I picked these up though, um, I thought, it does say for use on light blonde or bleached hair, um, but if you get down to the tips of my hair, and you can't tell on camera, um, I look like a ghost. <laughs> um, but the tips of my hair are actually really, really blonde, I don't think you can tell on camera. But I thought I'd give them a try. If they work, they work. If they don't, they don't. They're only a pound each. I should have picked them up while they were there. I think they had a really odd colour as well. I can't remember what it was. They definitely had more than two colours. But I just picked up two purples and two blues. Just to dye the tips of my hair if it works or not. If it doesn't, I don't know. Um, but hopefully it won't stain my hair or ruin my hair in any kind of way. So I can just see what purple and blue looks like on me and if I like it or not. But yes, that is everything I picked up in my Poundland haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and check out some of my other videos. Um, and I will link my Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest and Instagram in the description box below. And yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!